my name is Moira and I'm one of the Antenatal Ireland educators and in the next couple of videos I'm going to take you through some baby care tips that will be very useful to know when your little baby arrives. I'm going to start off with nappy changing in this video and then in the next couple of videos I'm going to do bathing your baby and sleeping arrangements for your baby. I hope you enjoy them. I have put my changing mat on this table because it's a really good height for me to be working at. Whether you're changing or bathing your baby, it is important that you're not bending over and putting any pressure on your lower back. So that's why I have picked this table to work at. I also have everything I need before I start. I have a bowl of warm water and a fresh nappy. And I also have a face cloth and cotton wool. You can use either for cleaning your baby's bum. Obviously, using any cloth will create less waste. But if you do decide to use cotton wool, it is better to use the cotton pads because with the cotton balls, some little pieces of fluff come off and they may stick to your baby's bum, especially when the early days, when the meconium is working through your baby's system, that can be quite sticky. So you want to avoid that. I don't have any barrier cream because unless your baby is showing signs of irritated skin, you don't need any barrier cream at all. Just water and a cloth or cotton wool to clean your baby's bum is everything you need. Cloth nappies are a great alternative to disposable nappies and lots of people don't really know much about them. They're environmentally friendly, they're cheaper in the long run after spending a little bit at the outset. As you can see from the pictures here there are some beautiful designs and they really are a million miles from what we might remember about cloth nappies from our childhood. I'm going to start by opening my baby's vest, taking it up out of the way front and back. You can do that by gently holding your baby around the feet, lifting up the feet and bum off the mat and taking the vest up out of the way at the back. When you open the baby's nappy and let air in, some, that encourages some babies to do a wee. So what might help is to take the nappy off briefly, let the air in and put the nappy back over again. And that might just encourage your baby to do a wee and you're catching it then in the old nappy if that does happen. So even with a soiled nappy, the front inside part is often clean enough to use to wipe away any excess poo around your baby's bum. And then the outside of the nappy is clean enough to leave your baby's bum back down on it, protects your mat and stops getting the new nappy then dirty from a dirty mat. So using the water and either cotton wool or a cloth can start to clean your baby's bum. It's important to clean in around the creases, around the legs. Babies have lots of little creases. Clean from front to back, especially for little girls. Reduces the risks of urinary tract infection. And just turn around and get a clean part of the cloth and give it one last wipe. Make sure that my baby's bum is nice and clean. I'm gonna put the dirty nappy and the mat to one side, run the cloth to one side, and then get my fresh nappy. Newborn nappies often have a little indent at the top. That's to allow for the umbilical cord to come out over the nappy. It's important to keep that clean and dry while it is still in place. It will get darker and drier every day and usually falls off between days five and 15. So if there is a little indent there that the cord comes over, that's perfect. If not, you can just fold down the top of the nappy to make sure the cord is out over it and not inside in the nappy. I didn't use any barrier cream. As I mentioned before, you only need that if there is signs of infection or signs of irritation. So with the fresh nappy on, we can close up the vest. And one very good thing to know about these vests, about baby vests, is that the necks are quite wide. That allows you to bring the vest down. If your baby does have a leaky nappy where there is poo all the way up the back of the vest, you don't want to take that over your baby's head. So what you can do is gently bring the vest down from the top. So just by gently maneuvering your baby's hands out of the sleeves, you're getting the soiled nappy away without getting any poo over your baby's head. That's nappy changing. Please join me next time when I'm going to cover bathing your baby.